here with Morgan Robinson. Uh, he's a residence at the Funkor Dormitory. Uh, Morgan Robinson, what do you think about the fire safety in Funkor? Well, I think it's great. I mean, all the fire exits are well known. There's fire extinguishers all over the building and the fire sprinklers are easily accessible. Uh, how do you feel, uh, how easy is it to recycle on campus? Well, you know, Shenandoah University, they do a great job of making it well known that they're an eco-friendly institution. They have distinguishable paper, plastic, and aluminum recycling bins throughout the entire campus, which I really think helps the environment, it increases student morale, and it really just gives this place a great atmosphere. Um, how safe do you feel walking around campus uh, during the dark, at night time? You know, I don't have any concerns or worries walking around at nighttime because our Department of Public Safety really puts the safe in safety. They're athletically fit, they are superiorly disciplined, they're just one of the elite forces on this campus and you know, they do a great job of making sure everyone feels comfortable, protected around campus, and the emergency phones throughout the campus really are a great idea by the university. They're just well placed. Everyone has access to an emergency line if they need it, which is really a great job by this institution. And Morgan, besides the sports you play, tell the camera what sports you play. I'm actually a dual sport athlete. I'm on the men's lacrosse squad and the ultimate frisbee team, Go Sound. And outside of those sports, of course, how easy is it to be uh, physically active outside of that, through the school, of course? Well, you know, this institution, they allow athletic prosperity through intramural signups. They have the recreational center and the Brant Student Center. They have publicly accessible fields and tracks throughout the campus, and they just really do a great job of making sure everyone has opportunity to be physically active. That, that they do, Morgan, that they do. Now, Morgan, when you eat at the Shenandoah Dining Hall, um, are there plenty of healthy options for you? Uh, they let you know what's in the food. Yeah, I mean, they make it well known at the grill especially. They have the calorie count listed next to the food item on the menu. At the cafeteria, they have a salad bar, which is a healthy alternative to anything that is fattening. You know, they just make it well known that if you're healthy, and conscious of your dietary restrictions, you can have whatever you would like. They have the allergy section at the CAF. They just make it really easy for anyone with any food restrictions to have a healthy, well-balanced diet. Yeah, no, no freshman 15 at Shenandoah. <laughs> All right, I'm Matt Petrie here um, with Ryan Schott, and we're going to interview him with a couple questions about uh, public health. First off, Ryan, uh, how many people do you think on average smoke on uh, Shenandoah University's campus? Uh, probably between 80 and 90 percent. Wow, that's a high number. And do you think uh, seeing other people smoke on campus will influence you to smoke on campus? Uh, yeah, for sure. If I just see someone chilling out by themselves smoking, I don't want to make them feel lonely, so I'll just go over there, smoke with them, have a good time. Oh, wow, wow. And do you think that uh, when people are smoking outside buildings on campus that it'll uh, influence your health? Uh, I mean, no, not really, no. It won't affect your health at all. All right, well, you have lived on campus for a couple of years now. How do you feel about the overall uh, health and uh, cleanliness of the campus? Do you think it's a good, clean place uh, to, to live? Oh, most definitely. I think the health clinic is great. Um, they offer lots of condoms for safe sex and uh, monthly checkups whenever you need. All right, Ryan, well, earlier you mentioned uh, the conversation about safe sex. How do you feel about how Shenandoah uh, helps you out with that and uh, keeps you educated about that? Uh, like I said, they offer a bunch of free condoms in the clinic and pamphlets about STD awareness. So, Ryan, what do you know about the healthcare-related classes and majors here on campus? Um, a lot. HLS offers a lot of great opportunities. Uh, nursing is one of the huge majors in there. Mm -hmm. um, they have a fast track program for incoming freshmen, great program, uh, yeah, just a great facility.
And have you yourself ever taken any of these classes? Um, yeah, Dr. Dushar Mendick was a great professor I had in my junior year, gave me a lot of great uh, opportunities, and I'm, right now I'm looking at grad school. I don't know where, but yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to turn out well. Don't forget the happy thoughts. All you need is happy thoughts. The past tense, past bedtime.